Hi guys and welcome to my channel Wendy Flawless. So today I'm going to ask you guys for some help. So just before Christmas I was living by university in um, Sally Oak and I had a television stolen from my room. My house share that I was in um, was not of a nice place. Um, the tenants were okay but there was some idiot that stole my television, my tablet, that was worth £500. The TV was an LG 55-inch television, and the tablet was a Samsung Galaxy Tab E Lite tablet. It cost me £238 from 230, between 230 and £240 from CX in Birmingham. Now, guys, if you have seen it anywhere, if you saw someone just before Christmas in November um, coming out of a house um, which was on Lottie Road in Birmingham, um, it was in Sally Oak, quite a nice area to be fair, but the house was a shithole and the company were useless, even despite the company saying that they were going to help me initially get the television back and try and look for the tablet, you guessed it, they put wool over my eyes. And they were not a nice company to be housed with. But anyways, so let's find the television. The television I had stolen is a, one of these. It was the best television I'd ever had in my entire life. I used to play my Xbox on it all the time. And it was money, good hard earned save money that I had saved for my benefits when I got awarded it in court when they stopped my benefits ages ago. But I will be talking about more of my benefit experience with you guys in some other future videos this week. But anyways, um, let's try and um, pull up this television. We all know what a television looks like, but it was a 55 inch TV, massive thing. It was actually in the majority of my old YouTube videos. Um, something as well that I've updated since I've been a YouTuber. I think it's very good to have important um, stuff on your home, such as surveillance. I've now got a camera on my house that I live in. Um, it doesn't record, but it's just there for if I need it to be, or if someone wants to come up to the property and try and steal my stuff. Um, yeah, I believe every YouTuber out there should have CCTV on their home, regardless if they're a celebrity or not. At least it's there for your protection. I um, will be getting more safety measures uh, in future, but for now, I've got a camera on my home. Um, it doesn't uh, record, and um, yeah. <laughs> I had a neighbour earlier on knock on my door, and she was like, Is, does that record? Are you going to put me on YouTube? And I was like, no, I'm not going to put you on YouTube, sweetheart. I'm not going to be like that. <laughs> but, you know, anyways, got that out of the way. But, um, yeah, so it doesn't record at this moment in time. It's literally one of them web cameras. My cameras, my cameras, my parents have it on their house. They've got, like, nine cameras on their home um, for security reasons. I'll talk about that in a different video. But um, mainly to do with me. <laughs> and when I was younger. Pain in the ass. But, yeah, so... Um, the reason why there's a camera outside my property is because I had my television stolen and I had my tablet stolen. I haven't got that back, as you can imagine. I'm still on my phone, literally. It's sending me nuts. So the person that did steal my television from Lottie Road um, in Sally Oak before Christmas time and my tablet, I just want to say to you that you will be found. I'm a strong believer on karma and despite someone thinking that they're going to take my stuff and steal it and get away from it scot-free, you've got a very um, you've got a very wrong impression of me because I'm a nice guy, but if you cross me, then you'll know about it. But, uh, yeah, so the person got away with taking my television. It all happened when I was admitted to hospital and I had a heart condition, and they got me better. They got me on medication for my heart, um, for my extra drug use that I used to take. And um, basically, yeah, they, they helped me out big time. The hospital did that I was with. Um, they treated me 110% good as a patient. 
And um, yeah, unfortunately, I came out of hospital. I spoke to my housing provider. Um, the door that I had refitted um, basically wasn't fitted properly because the house that I moved into, I was quite desperate at that point because I was just looking somewhere nice to live. But the house was doable, I suppose, but it was a shithole, to be fair. Um, you don't go with a company called Living Well Housing. Please don't. Avoid them like the plague. Don't go with them. The houses are complete shit tips. My room was trashed when I came out of hospital. My television was taken off my bed. My tablet was taken out of my CEX bag where I originally bought it from. No, yeah, CEX bag where I originally bought it from. And, um, yeah, I'm very upset to this day still why someone thought the need they needed to come along and take my television and my tablet. But do you know what, guys? I chalk this up to experience. It's a learning curve, obviously. Um, so now I've upped my game. I've got so good cameras all over my home. Um... I live in, obviously, this is a shared house, but at this minute in time, it's empty, because I'm the only one that lives here. <laughs> Just how I like it, to be fair. Um, but, yeah. Um, it knocked me for six guys when my stuff was stolen. It was like I'd been shot in the heart. It, it, it was horrible. Like, I just, i come out of hospital. I had my hopes up. I was looking forward to coming home, playing on my television like anybody would with, like, an Xbox and stuff like that. And as I came home, my door was left undone because maintenance that's supposed to refit my door. Basically, cut a long story short, I moved into the property and the day I moved in, my door was hanging off because some previous tenant kicked it through. So it was rehung for me and as I went to go into my bedroom, um, the uh, television was not there. I was like, where the fuck's this television gone? And the tablet gone. The police were absolutely useless. I did tell them, but Apparently there was nothing much they could do because there was lack of evidence and because I moved a few bags off the bed, I apparently disrupted the evidence of them ever trying to find, but basically all to do with DNA and like bugs. They tried to accuse me of like, you know, um, messing with, not messing with the evidence, but like, you know, um, yeah. I'm going to see what the police can do on this phone call. All right. I've got a SIM card on this phone. <laughs> I use this one for gaming. But I will make a phone call after I've spoken to you guys, to the West Midlands Police, and uh, see what they can do. You know, Matthew, there's something wrong with that SIM card in it. <laughs> you should know that, Matthew, your phone does not work without a SIM card in it. <laughs> but yeah, so um, I've been now for the last bloody hell, two, three months now without television and it's kind of drove my head insane. But I watched a lot of YouTube, I'm happy with my phone for the time being. I will eventually save up for like an iPad and when I can save up for it. But for now, um, yeah, I've upgraded my security and um, yeah, anyone that comes in this home or anywhere like that. Um, especially like eventually when I have my own home, there'll be cameras everywhere. <laughs> there'll be cameras coming out of my arse. When I have my own home, it will be pucker. When I get eventually rich, like fucking TGF bro. <laughs> Hi TGF, TGF bro, yo bro. <laughs> when I get my own mansion one day and I move in it with my boyfriend. I've got a boyfriend, I love him, can't wait to see him. I'm going to see him tonight, hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, he's coming in to see me tonight. My television has gone from my life. My tablet, it was the best tablet ever. Like, it was such a hardcore, cool tablet to play gaming on and stuff like that. It feels horrible. Like, even though sometimes our most prized possessions, like, you take them for granted and stuff, and I certainly did my television and my tablet, but, like, yeah, it's annoyed me, guys. And um, I'm going to see what I can do. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.